So what if you ask a woman out and she says, sorry, I have a boyfriend, or sorry, I just don't see you that way, or basically gives you some sort of negative response, something else. How would you respond back to that? You see, most men that I talk to are crippled by the fear of rejection and have no clue how to deal with it. That's why in this video, I want to show you exactly what to say in a case where a woman turns you down, rejects you. When you're armed with this perfect response, you'll feel your fear of rejection does fade away and a new sense of confidence will emerge. You will be more open to approaching women you like and conveying your interest. In fact, you'll be more comfortable talking to beautiful women because you'll know that if it doesn't work out, that you know exactly how to deal with it. So put aside any distractions and watch this video till the very end. It may easily be the most important video you see today. So keep watching. Hi, I am Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider information about what women really want versus what they say they want, plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. Okay, before I dive in, I wanna tell you a surefire way to avoid getting rejected, having good skin, which is why I'm happy to tell you about today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley. I said it right this time, Tej Hanley helps men start and maintain a skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. And I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, a two times per week exfoliant scrub, an AM and PM moisturizer, all for just $30, which is crazy. My favorite part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how to use each product, and in what order. So super simple. Their products are amazing, but you don't have to just take my word for it. They have like 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, exclusive monthly deals, pause, cancel at any time, and free shipping in the US. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. So just click the first link in the description and you will get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Seriously, that's like amazing. So click that link and get started today. All right, now let's dive in. So before I tell you what to do if a woman rejects you, I need to tell you the three important truths about rejection that you should always remember. 99% of men don't know this and it keeps them from getting the women they want from experiencing the dating life they truly deserve. And I do not want you to be one of them. So listen to these three things carefully, note them down if you need to, and never forget it. Truth number one, there's no reason to be embarrassed by a rejection. Most guys take rejection way too personally and feel embarrassed by it. I get it, I used to be like that. They feel that if a woman rejects them, they are not good enough for anybody else. They question their own self-worth and feel ashamed of themselves. But there's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. Look what you did. You saw a woman that you liked. You went up to her and put yourself on the line. That is ballsy. I can't even do that. That shows courage. How many guys can do that? Women don't have to do that. Okay, I bet you that 99 out of 100 guys you see walking around you are terrified of asking a woman out. And if you're that one in 100 who did it, you should be proud. You should feel awesome. You should feel special. And listen, I'm not just saying that to pump your ego. That is a fact. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself on the line like that. Something most guys, most people never do. That's the objective reality, whether you choose it or not. That's just what it is. All right. Next, truth number two, the men who have the most success with women also face the most rejections. It's true. This is something most men find really hard to accept. It's easy to look at a guy who has a lot of success with women and think, oh wow, he must get girls all the time, lucky bastard. But the truth is that top 1% of men who date and sleep with amazing, beautiful women, they also get rejected a lot. In fact, they get rejected way more than the average guy and that's because they put themselves out there more often, they're not guarding themselves. They talk to more women, they flirt with more women, they truly explore their options, which means they also get turned down by more women, which is perfectly natural. No matter how good your game is or how attractive you are, you're gonna be turned down by women for their own reasons, reasons you just cannot 
control. But the great thing is when you're putting yourself out there and talking to more women, you're increasing your chances of success. You're increasing your chances of finding and attracting some amazing, gorgeous woman. In my career as a dating expert, I've known many naturals from across the world. Guys who are seemingly flawless with women, guys who date the type of girls most men can only dream about. And I can tell you that none of them get every woman they interact with. And I can tell you, all of them get nervous still. In fact, they actually get turned down more often than you'd imagine. It's like basketball legend Michael Jordan once said, this is a great quote, I failed over and over again and that's why I succeeded. So that sums up the story of every natural that I've ever met. The trick is not to take it personally and move on without much thought. I know that's hard, but that's what you gotta do. The more, you, more time you spend thinking about the rejection, the more time you waste. Top guys, take it on the chin and move on to the next girl. That's how they get so many girls so fast. It's just what they do. All right, moving on to the truth. Number three, rejection is literally just five seconds of discomfort. If you really think about it, rejection is just five seconds of discomfort. You ask her out, she tells you no, and gives you this some explanation for it, like I have a boyfriend, or I don't see you that way, or I'm not looking to date right now, or like something like that, right? But it's hardly even five seconds, five seconds that you'll feel awkward or uncomfortable, and then it's over after that. You're free to move on to a different woman, or it doesn't turn in that direction, you're with her. Are these five seconds really worth being worried about? I bet you are strong enough to handle that discomfort. Every guy is. It's just that in your own head, you make a bigger deal out of it. And I get it. I totally get it. You, you exaggerate what will happen when a woman rejects you and it manifests into something so big and you think it's the end of the world. But in reality, if you just look at it, it's just a ridiculously short event that it's five seconds max, which brings me to the main point of this video and it is how to respond after a woman rejects you. And it's so easy. And I'll tell you in one second, but first I have a quick request. If you're enjoying this video so far, please drop a like, subscribe, let me know. It makes me feel good, it helps my channel grow, and it helps my video reach to more guys who really need this information. Okay, when a woman rejects you, here's what you do. You need to show her that you're not phased by it. Shake it off, right? You need to show her that it doesn't bother you. So for example, let's say you meet a woman at some social gathering, and you ask her out, and she says, no, what do you say now? Well, one option would be to say something very simple like, all right, no worries. It was fun chatting with you. Have a good day, right? Just plain and simple. Or you could also say something playful like, oh, that's a bummer. I bet we could have been Time Magazine's couple of the year, but you know, no worries with a smile. See how carefree these responses are. And again, do it in your own style, but it demonstrates that you're completely unfazed by her rejection. And you can prepare these before you even go out. You can write down four, oh, there's a squirrel attacking me. There are four different versions <laughs> that you can write down and you can try out, but you also get to rehearse them at home and make sure that you're comfortable with them. Do it in front of the mirror, do it in a voice recording to make sure that you sound good and confident, but just so that you're armed and ready if this happens to you. I will give you another example. Okay. This one's from one of my um, email subscribers that I love, whose name Jeffrey. He has been going to physical therapy for a while now, and he's had his eye on this gorgeous woman who worked there as a receptionist. She's beautiful, is how he describes her. Very feminine, well-dressed, perfect makeup, rock and body. And Jeffrey had been working up his courage to ask her out for a while now, until finally one day he did. With my encouragement, he asked her out for a coffee, to which she replied, well, I'm actually married. Without thinking twice, Jeffrey responded with, oh, okay, I guess he can come too, but I think that he might get jealous. Amazing, right? This cracked her up immediately and she started laughing. Even the other girls who worked at that place, which is good that other girls are watching, who overheard the conversation, they burst out laughing and the girl took his approach and asking out as a compliment and said, thank you. Jeffrey said, no worries, it's all good. Have a nice day or I'll see you next time before exiting the place with his head held up high, which I loved, and see how amazing that interaction was, Jeffrey perfectly communicated to that girl that her rejection didn't bother him one bit, and he did it in front of other women. So those women have their brains going. When you show the girl who rejects you, I don't even wanna say rejects, who turns you down, but you're not phased by it, you prove to her that you are emotionally strong and have high self-confidence. You also subconsciously single, signal that you must be a man with many options in his dating life that 
there are other women waiting to hang out with you. All of this positions you as a highly attractive and respectable man in the eyes of a woman. Even if she rejects you, she will see that you are high quality, which is great. In fact, at times, it can even spark so much attraction that the woman, I mean, if she's available, will actually come back and try to chase after you. And moreover, when you show a woman that you're not affected by rejection, you also prove to your own mind that you can handle rejection easily. It subconsciously feeds your self-confidence, which spurs you on and makes you more comfortable with women. This is the secret of the naturals. And as I said before, the top guys get rejected a lot, but each one builds their confidence because of the way that they handle it. It becomes easier and easier to approach women. And before you know it, they start dating the highest quality women and have hordes of women like coming after them obsessively because they're that confident. I have one little exercise for you, or actually I'm gonna call it a challenge. I want you to go get rejected. Like have that as your goal. So if you can right now, and everybody can, go and interact five to 10 people a day, but this time with the objective of getting rejected. Set up your brain to accept and want rejection. Look for rejection. That's how your brain works. It's like a computer. You can program it, right? So when you are aiming for a rejection and you get it, you're going to feel good about yourself. You wanted that and you got it. So that's my challenge to you. Go and get rejected today. I have tons of challenges like this in my program called How to Become a Man Women Want, where I dive deeper into this topic of how to be a natural, or in other words, how to be naturally attractive to women using all the good stuff about you. I reveal a simple step-by-step -step system which can turn any man, any man, into an absolutely irresistible girl magnet within 30 days. I promise. You can click the link in the description and find out more about this system if you want. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to memorize any pickup lines or learn to play games or be fake in any way because I hate that. It's y yucky. You'll simply discover a proven procedure to bring out your most attractive self and showcase it in front of the women you meet. And I say proven procedure because thousands of guys from around the globe are following it to double, triple, and even quadruple their success with women, which means more phone numbers, more dates, more sexual encounters than ever before. I literally get tons of emails every day from men who had nothing going on in their dating lives, who now are going on four to five to 10 dates a month with gorgeous women and seem to have more options in their dating life than ever before. Plus they're having fun. I've even had guys who've gotten married because of this 30 day system and the impact that it had on them. It's a complete 180 degree transformation. So just click the link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. How to become a man women want is for anyone who is absolutely sick of being overlooked, ignored, friend zone by beautiful women. It's for men who know they deserve better, for men who are unwilling to settle for less. If that sounds like you, and you'd like to be completely transformed in less than 30 days, have a look at this program. The link is below. When you click it, you are going to be led with a page with all of the information. I even have like a free 45 minute video that gives you more information. Either way, I am so happy you watched this video to the very end. I hope you found it useful. As always, I will see you again next week.